Kobe Bryant is getting into the VC game. The 25th birthday of Linux is coming up. Android Nougat is out of beta and more. It's Monday, August 22nd, and this is Crunch Report. Hope everyone is having a great Monday at work. It's so fun to be back, huh? Linux will turn 25 years old on August 25th. It was the day Linus Torvald sent out his fateful message asking for help with a new operating system. The Linux Foundation has just released a detailed report on the OS with highlights from the past 25 years. They write that 13,500 developers from 1,300 companies have contributed to the kernel since the entire project went up on Git in 2005. Linux now runs most of the websites you visit and runs on everything from gas pumps to smartwatches. The OS teaches kids to program thanks to the Raspberry Pi and it helped the French police save millions of euros. Heck, even Microsoft is releasing code for Linux. So basically, if you see Linux out there, wish it a happy birthday. Apple has reportedly acquired health data startup Glimpse, a company that collects and combines disparate threads of personal health info. Fast Company reports that the acquisition went down earlier this year, but there has yet to be any confirmation on the part of Glimpse. Glimpse works by letting users pull their own medical info into a single virtual space with the ability to add documents and pictures to fill out the profile. From there, users can share that data as a comprehensive picture to whomever they wish. It's easy to see how Glimpse and its organized data around individuals could come in handy in products like Health Kit, Research Kit, and Care Kit. Unicorns are pretty baller, but almost unicorns are pretty cool too, especially when they are run by bootstrapping founder who purposely flies planes improperly for fun. Media.net, a six-year-old advertising technology startup with a global footprint, was acquired today for $900 million by Chinese tech conglomerate Beijing Mateno Communication Technology Co. Except, well, not quite. Technically, the ad tech company was purchased by a consortium that plans to resell the company to Mateno because the company doesn't have enough money on its books to finish the transaction today. Kind of like having your parents wrap an extra large present under the tree only to open it and find a sticky note saying, uh, soon. Well, if your gift was nine commercial airlines, that is. Seems Black Mamba is getting into the venture game. Five-time Los Angeles Laker Kobe Bryant is joining zero-time, no NBA experience Jeff Stiebel to create a $100 million fund to invest in media and tech companies. Rumor has it Kobe was worried that Stiebel's lack of on-court operational experience could hinder the team-first approach of the fund, but ultimately decided the ex-executive and angel investor could be a strong wild card for the fund. I don't know about you, but I'm seriously looking forward to the Andreessen-style Kobe Twitter tech rants. Let's bring it home, Kobe. Oh, and Stiebel, take it to the hoop. How many basketball references did I just make in that story? Quite a bit. I love candy, as you can tell from my muscular and toned body. Mmm, it's so fresh. So in candy news, Google surprised everyone when it launched a public beta of the Android Nougat back in March. Annual updates are nothing new for Android, but not only did this announcement come very early, it also offered users the option to easily install the beta with an over-the-air update. Now, half a year later, Nougat is out of beta and available for Google's own Nexus devices, the Pixel C tablet, and the general mobile 4G. If you own one of those devices, you should see an update prompt fairly soon. The first new phone that will come with Android Nougat pre-installed is the LG V20, which should arrive in early September. Sounds delicious. That's our report for today. I'm Tino Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.